I just don't know where to start, because there's just too much to talk about. First of all, I want to take a moment to remember the beautiful, talented and warm-hearted, Kim Misu. Rest in peace dear angel. Too much happened in episode 9. I screamed at so many moments. Can we all talk about the slap scene? I did not see it coming. But when young Ro slapped Suho, my jaw legit dropped. I had my hand over my mouth the whole time. And episode 9 was the first episode in a while where we saw Suho softening up a little. Because young Ro faced such a big loss, so he felt bad for her. Talking about loss. It's sad. But young Ro's brother is actually dead. Some of you even pointed out under my last video that young Ro's brother isn't in the main cast poster. So that means his character isn't main enough. And the director can easily kill him off. It's sad, but he's gone. I think the writer just included him in the story to kill him off. So that young Ro goes through all that pain. Now, the ending scene of episode 8. Damn, what a climactic scene it was. Suho is too hurt by young Ro's condition that he finally breaks down in front of young Ro and opens up his heart a little. Suho tells young Ro that he wants to let her out of this place, but he can't because of the whole situation. Young Ro has gone through a lot. We need to remember all the trauma young Ro has gone through because of Suho. Even if Suho softens up, young Ro would still not be able to trust him that easily. When young Ro sees that Suho is being vulnerable right now, she knows this is a great opportunity to get that bomb detonator from his back pocket. So, young Ro hugs Suho from the back. Now, let me tell you all. The way I screamed when she did that. God, I almost woke up everyone in my dorm. We can see Suho try to push young Ro away at first, but then he can't control his feelings and hugs her back. All this time I was screaming internally saying he loves her. Look at his eyes. He loves her. But then young Ro sneakily takes out the detonator and pushes Suho aside. Now, starts the ninth episode predictions. In episode 9. Suho would be too shocked to see that young Ro was hugging her just to get a hold of the detonator. Young Ro wants to desperately get out of the dorm and bid farewell to her late brother. Young Ro would threaten Suho with the detonator. Suho would try to calm young Ro down and try to get the detonator back. The detonator is a very serious thing and Suho is scared if young Ro accidentally pushes it. When Suho will try to come near her, she will scream and threaten him that she'll push the button if he comes forward. Using the detonator, young Ro would start running. We see in the preview, Young Ro running with the detonator, and also Suho running in the hallway. He's going after Young Ro, trying to catch her. Young Ro would manage to go inside a room and she'll lock herself there. Suho would come to the door and try to talk to Young Ro. Suho would request her to open the door and give the detonator back. He will say to her, Please believe me, I do not want to make you suffer anymore. Young Ro would realize that Suho is actually being genuine. Young Ro would all of a sudden think that she can use herself wisely and help the girls. So, she'll come closer to the door and slowly open it and hand over the detonator to Suho. Suho would bring Young Ro back to where all the hostages would have been kept. Now, what Young Ro is planning, I'll talk later in the video. Moving on. Gong Mu keeps on telling Suho that his country doesn't care for him, and the deal of the South and North would end up killing everyone. Suho doesn't want to believe in this because he trusts his country, but Suho would also start doubting. That's why Suho will ask Gong Mu to bring concrete evidence for all that he is claiming. And I think Han Na would be the one who will provide this evidence. The trade of 30 girls and Han Na bringing the stuff from outside will finally happen. Han Na would enter the dorm. And she will meet with Suho where they will talk about the whole hostage situation. There is a reason why Suho specifically called Han Na inside the dorm for the trade and no one else. Han Na is now going to play a very important role. Suho has found out that Han Na loves Gong Mu. And Gong Mu cares for her too. So, Suho would make a deal with Han Na to go out and spy on ANSP and find out the real deal between the North and the South. Because Han Na would find out that the lives of the girls... And Gong Mu are in danger by ANSP, so she will agree. Also, Han Na already talked to this mysterious guy in episode 8 during the press conference. Han Na is already onto ANSP and knows that something is off. She needs to find answers to what actually is going on. So, when Han Na will come back, she will dress up as a delivery guy. And when the ANSP team will order food, she will go inside and put a spy audio recorder underneath the table. Now due to the spy audio recorder. Han Na will discover the true intentions of the ANSP, and she will eventually bring this information back to the dorm. That's how the spies and everyone in the dorm will be able to work together and plan something to escape. But that is something which will take time, and before that some other shocking things will happen. Now Han Na is doing a mission outside, but Gong Mu would be doing his own mission inside to help save the girls. Gong Mu would talk to Mrs. P and let her know about the key to the secret room. 
Gongmu is aware that Mrs. P knows all the secrets and the ins and outs of this place, and he would also know that she cares for the girls, so it makes sense that they work together to plan something. Now that young Ro went through so much, she will now be confident and determined to help the girls in some way. She would have overheard Gongmu and Mrs. P's conversation. Young Ro would think of an amazing plan. Young Ro now knows that Suho does have a soft spot still there for her, and that Suho would never harm her. So, she'll talk to Gongmu and would ask him to use her. Young Ro knows that by using her, they can bring Suho to do anything. Because Suho would do anything if it concerns Young Ro. So, the plan of Gongmu and Young Ro would start. Gongmu would first let Young Ro know about the truth of Dr. Kong. Or maybe he'll warn her about Dr. Kong. That Young Ro should stay away from her and not let her know anything important. I think Young Ro and Gong Mu's plan would involve hiding Young Ro inside the dorm and pretending to everyone that Young Ro has run away and escaped. We see in the preview Young Ro is holding a tub. I think she would make an excuse that she wants to wash something or take a bath. Comrade Ju will go with her. And during his watch, Young Ro would escape when he'll not be around. Young Ro would climb the stairs and go to the rooftop. I think Gong Mu will also somehow escape, and there on the rooftop, Gong Mu would hide Young Ro inside the attic on the rooftop. As we see someone locking the attic door, I think that might be Gong Mu hiding Young Ro for their plan. On the other hand, Comrade Ju will find out that Young Ro has escaped so he will immediately go and tell Su Ho. Su Ho and his comrades will start searching for Young Ro. They will search everywhere, but won't be able to find her. Now I think Comrade Ju will go to the basement. And he will find that the basement exit is open, which Gong Mu would have opened up to make it look like Young Ro escaped. Even if that doesn't happen, they would simply not be able to find her anytime soon. Meanwhile, Gong Mu would now use Young Ro and talk to Su Ho and make plans with him. I think they will tell Su Ho that she's in the attic. Su Ho would go meet with her there. Also, if Young Ro would be hiding there, she still needs food. So, Su Ho would provide her food, and there would be chances of Su Ho and Young Ro getting closer here too. Because nobody would be around the attic and Su Ho can be free there. Also, in one poster, Su Ho and Young Ro are almost about to kiss in the background is the attic. But of course, things can't always go that simple. We see in the preview that Bun Oak discovers the walkie-talkie in the bathroom. And we also see Bun Oak looking at Mrs. P and Gong Mu talking. I have a feeling that Bun Oak would find out about this whole plan and she will ruin it too. She will definitely cause some really bad problems. She can tell Comrade Ju or maybe the ANSP through walkie-talkie that Su Ho is meeting with Young Ro secretly in the attic. Because she's so jealous of Young Ro, who knows what does she end up doing. I think Dr. Kong would end up finding out. And that's when Su Ho and Young Ro's life will get in danger, even from the inside of the dorm now. As a lot of you suggested in my previous video that Dr. Kong might have feelings for Su Ho. It could be possible. She even asked for his necklace. Also. Dr. Kong surely knows that Suho is in love with Young Ro. I do think Dr. Kong would first be a villain, in the sense that she would only listen to the orders of her country. But I think she will eventually come to realize that her country wants Suho and others dead. And as she feels for Suho, so she would definitely side with him in the future and help him. So, that was it for today's video. Comment below with your thoughts and views. I would love to read them. Thank you so much for watching, Snowdrop family. Take care and I'll see you soon with the new video.